Hi guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're looking at all the icon strikers under 500k and making our decisions to which ones are the best and which ones you guys should go for. So let's get into it. So here we are. I've populated the squad with every single icon that is under 500,000 coins. Um, we're going to start with the ones that I have used and that being... Ian Rush, the cheapest icon card in the game. Is he any good? The answer is yes. For the price to performance ratio of this man, he was absolutely insane. Genuinely insane. Uh, I will tag somewhere up here the, the full review of Ian Rush. But honestly, he was fabulous. I couldn't believe how good he was, to be honest, for the price. Um, obviously, he isn't the best icon in the world. Definitely not. Uh, what I did like about him, uh, his finishing is impeccable. He does have the uh, four star weak foot, which is really nice to have. And yeah, he's got some really nice traits as well, um, which is very, very good. He does have the playstyle plus, which is first touch. Um, to be honest, I don't think it's a very good playstyle plus. Don't see it that often. Um, no, it's not like a finesse shot one where you, you're going to be pinging those finesse shots in. Um, yeah, it's just not. It's not the greatest playstyle plus, but honestly, Ian Roche, don't don't sleep on the car because he was absolutely fantastic. Um, we're also going to discuss, I'm going to go through my top three um, to start with. And my top three, I'm going to go with Hugo Sanchez as number one. I think he's got, obviously, the playstyle plus, the acrobat, similar to Erling Haaland there. Um, the pace is really nice, the shooting's really nice, and the dribbling's really nice. I will do a full review on this uh, Sanchez, because we do have his loan card there, as you can see. But he's got some really nice looking traits. Uh, his dribbling looks fantastic. If you look at his stats, they look pretty impeccable. And he's going for pretty cheap at the moment. Um, let's have a quick look on Footbin. Yeah, he's going for 381,000 coins. So I think you're getting a really, really nice striker there for the price. The only thing is he doesn't have to force star skill moves. Uh, so you skillers are going to lose out on that. But if you look at the stats, the stats are impeccable. And he's got that small body type. He's going to be agile. He's going to be quite a fun car to use, in my opinion. Um, at number two, I'm probably going to go with Robin Van Persie. Um, the absolute legend of the game. In previous FIFAs, I've really enjoyed his card. Last year, his base card was really nice to have. Um, up until like December time in your team, this card looks to me like a similar version of his mid card, his mid icon card in last FIFA. Um, that is how his stats play out. Um, so he's a bit slower than his uh, base card was last year, but he has got some nice stats, and we'll go into it. The high-low work rate for a striker is incredible, and the four-star, four-star is really nice as well. Uh, then you have a look at his shooting stats, which are absolutely insane. Okay, the pace is a bit on the slow side, got to be honest. Um, but yeah, obviously he's going to potentially get upgrades in the future, but this card, i probably say, if you're looking at like December time, he is probably going to be... A bit rubbish on that pace and you might have to think about moving him backwards so what i mean by that is he has got the passing stats to play as like a central camp in a 4-2-3-1 formation playing in their balls popping off the long shots that sort of stuff and um, so yeah obviously for now all these icon cards are going to be pretty good all of them are going to be pretty good until we start getting the momentum of new cards coming out better cards coming out and um, we're seeing that now with the new promo trail blazers sorry um but yeah i think this card's gonna have a bit of longevity i'd say probably around december time he's gonna be a bit poor as a just out and out striker and you might have to move him back a bit but all in all robin van persie for a total of let's have a quick look 451,000 coins is a great option there um and yeah, for third place, there's quite a lot of options because no one else really sticks out to me that well. Um, but someone does because he does have the finesse shot trait. And that is Gianfranco Zola. And again, similar to uh, Van Persie, in the future you can play him as a central cam or as a wide cam, something like that. If it's the pace as an out and out striker, isn't good enough for you guys. But he has got the finesse shot play style and if you've used anyone with that finesse shot play style so i've just done i've got son uh player of the month used him he has it 
check the review out. Um, I also have Salah, and anybody who's got that, the finesse shots, no matter where you are on the pitch near enough, they're flying in the back of the net. They're so accurate, so powerful, and it's just a fantastic, fantastic play style to have. Um, also, he has a set piece one, the dead ball one. Uh, he has Fleur, he has technical dribbler, and he has Travellers as well. So he's got an abundance of play styles there, which is really nice. And as you can see, fantastic across the board. Obviously, there is a couple of things to consider. He's going to be very weak. The stamina is very low at 74 though, so that is definitely something to consider, especially if you're going to play him in the cam spot in behind the striker um, in the future, then yeah, that stamina could be a massive con with the card. But he's got 4 star, 4 star again, high medium work rate, really nice for a striker. He is a bit on the small side though, and he's probably going to get pushed off the ball. But there are your options, and Zola is quite expensive. Uh, one of the most expensive ones, he's 412,000 coins, so yeah, really, really expensive option there. Um, we've got some honourable mentions, obviously, you've got like uh, Van Nistelrooy, now there was rumours at the start of the game that he was going to be upgraded to 4 star weak for 4 star skill moves. That obviously hasn't happened, he's got high low work rate, which is really good for a striker, 6 foot 2, and he's got some of the most insane shooting stats, 94 finishing, 90 shot power absolutely insane obviously the pace bit on the low side again but he's sort of like van persie level but the main thing for me the difference between van nistelrooy and van persie is van persie has got a lot better dribbling and obviously the passing's a lot better as well uh, physicals are not better on van persie but van persie's just the better option isn't he and that uh, yeah some of these cards, I've got to be honest, some of these cards you will buy and you will absolutely love and you'll be like, why is he only like 200k, 300k? Yeah, this card is absolutely insane in game and that's where I find every single year of icons. There's always a couple of icons that don't go for much coins on the game, but when you've got them in your team, they do absolute bits for you. Ian Rush, honestly, go and watch the full review of him. I've, put, I've obviously put some clips in of the goals he scored and stuff like that. He was absolutely incredible, and he's only 80k. It's insane. And that is what you're going to get from some of these icons. I mean, the finishing on Van Nistelrooy is going to be second to none, isn't it? But he's going to feel a bit sluggish, bit of a tank. But he does have some uh, really nice traits here. I keep calling him traits because, obviously, we used to call him traits from last year. But he's got the finesse shot, the chip shot, the power header. Uh, Bruiser, uh, his playstyle plus is the first touch. He's also got Rapid, um, and he also has Acrobat. So he's got quite a lot of playstyles there. Um, but yeah, he's going to be okay. I wouldn't say he's going to be anything fantastic. He will score you a lot of goals, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be hard for him to manoeuvre. Um, but one thing to consider with him is that high-low work rate is going to be very, very nice at getting him in the right spot. I reckon he's going to be like a real poacher on the game uh, and be in the position where you want him to be every single time. Now, obviously, we've already spoke about them three. And we've got Gary Lineker next. Now, Lineker's not normally a, good, a really good card on the game. Um, and it's because his dribbling does let him down and we'll go into that in a bit more detail so he's got high low work rate which is obviously really nice for a striker he's got the four star weak foot but only the three star skill moves striker center forward is his positions and looking at his stats obviously again shooting is just outrageous um, his pace 88 and 85 bit better than some of the cards we've looked at but not in that you want 90s don't you really that's where this that's where it starts to get special um, Passing is absolutely pants on Gary Lineker. He couldn't even pass a packet of Walker's crisps. I know, terrible dad joke there. Um, the dribbling lets him down every single year, and that is the agility and balance on the card, and the dribbling stat is quite low. 81, 77, and 83 there. Obviously, reaction, ball control, and composure are really nice, but everything else lets him down with the dribbling, and he doesn't feel the most agile on the ball. Um, and that is why it, it always lets him down every single year. Um, he has got head and accuracy um, of 87 though, which is really nice, but the jumping of 76 is not too great, uh, especially when he's only, what, 5'10", uh, so he's not going to be winning headers against like VVD, is he? Stamina of 83 is okay for a striker, 78 strength, not too bad either, but the aggression is low. But the problem with this card is it's only got one trait, and that is a playstyle plus of... Uh, chip shot. He's got nothing else on the card, which is very poor. I expected more from uh, the Gary Lineker card, but I have noticed, I've got to be honest, guys, 
they've done some cars dirty. Uh, my man Fernando Torres has had a massive downgrade. And the most insane one for me is Wayne Rooney. How is Wayne, Wayne Rooney an 88 rated card? I have absolutely no idea how he's an 88 rated. He's, uh, he's better than Van Persie, isn't he? He's better than Gary Lineker was in his day. Um, maybe not Owen, because obviously Owen did win a Ballon d'Or. But, yeah, it, it just baffles me, some of these icons this year. Um, talking about Michael Owen, his medium-medium work rate lets him down a bit as a striker. Obviously, four-star uh, weak foot is good, but three-star skill moves again. Pretty poo there. He can play striker and centre-forward. Obviously, with this card, though, the pace is fantastic. 89 pace. He's got the pace, which we love to have, don't we? Everyone loves a pace merchant, and yeah, Owen's got it. His finishing inside the box is great. Outside the box, however, 79 long shots. That is absolutely pants, isn't it? It really is just rubbish. Rubbish from him. And again, similar to uh, Lineker, the passing is terrible on the card. Dribbling is better, though, with uh, the 85 jelly, 84 balance, and 89 dribbling there. And obviously, you've got some really nice over dribbling stats there. Don't want to go into too much detail with them. Uh, he has got 82 heading and 83 jumping and the stamina is 79. So stamina is a bit on the low side and he is a bit weak. But obviously this card does have the pace and the shooting and the dribbling, which is really good to have. Um, he has got a playstyle plus, which is chip shot. He does have finesse shot and he also has rapid and quick step. Now, to be honest, I thought this card might have had a finesse shot. Um, trait rather than a chip shot trait definitely scored more goals with the finesse shot than he did chip shot but yeah it's just one of them and they like to give these english icons don't they the chip shot trait because on to another one we've got ian wright now again ian wright when he first came out i think a couple of years ago now i reviewed him i liked him at the time but as fifa's have gone on the same thing again similar to uh gary lineker it's the dribbling like He's got the pace, he's got the shooting, but it's always the dribbling that lets these cards down. Now, five foot nine, medium, medium work rate, three star skills and a four star weak foot, striker and centre forward. He's got the pace, 87 and 88 there. He's got the shooting, everything above 85, which is insane. Passing again, absolutely crap. But the dribbling, we get to the dribbling again. And the main ones, agility, balance and dribbling. 82, 78 and 78. And that's what lets him down every single year. And it's a shame because... If he had a bit more, bit more. If they, if that balance was in the 80s and that dribbling was in the 80s, obviously that would make a massive difference to the card. Um, but yeah, again, just letting him down with the dribbling. 85 heading is pretty good with 75 jumping. Stamina of 86 is pretty good compared to the other icons that we've seen so far on this list. And 73 strength there. And he does come with, oh, we guessed it, the chip shot plus straight. What? Oh, play star plus i keep saying trait lads i am sorry i'm so used to it i've been playing ultimate team for 10 years since fifa 10 10 years that's a uh, 13 years josh can't count apparently um but yeah he has a couple of traits rapid being one of them and obviously uh the chip shot there we've got a new icon to the game this year and it is a lady and it is Bridget Prince. Now, I have absolutely no idea about the women, I've got to be honest. I don't watch women's football. But looking at the card, it looks similar to like a Van Nistelrooy card, I'd say. Something like that. Uh, so we've got 83 pace, 92 shot, 80 pass, 82 dribble, and 88 physical. The physical there is really nice. 5 foot 10, so actually quite tall for a, a woman. On this game which is really nice uh three star skills and a four star weak foot there can play striker and center forward and similar to like a van persie type card potentially you're gonna have to move them a bit further back than actual striker because that pace is going to go down pretty quickly and defenders are just going to get faster and she's not going to be able to get in behind but the long shots you're going to be able to finish with this card are going to be unreal aren't they 94 finishing 94 shot power 89 long shots you're going to be able to score from anywhere on the pitch and um, passing a lot better in the key area. Short pass of 87, that was really nice, and vision of 84. Long pass is still a bit pants, but a lot better than some of the other cards we've seen. Now, a big con on this card, agility and balance and dribbling again. Agility and balance, 60 and 66, that is shocking. You're going to turn like a double-decker bus, um, and that's why, even though she's the highest rated on this list, she's not in the top three, because the agility and balance 
are a massive, massive part of the game, and that is a massive con. 60 and 66 is terrible, but everything else is nice within the dribbling category. Uh, obviously, she can win a 93 heading, 83 jumping, 82 stamina, 94 strength, and 81 aggression. Really nice there, and she does come with a playstyle plus, and this one is aerial. So, uh, same as Van Dyke, can jump higher than any other card on the game. Uh, also has press proven, uh, first touch, power header, and power shot trait. So, yeah, an abundance of traits there, but. Not one I would go for, if I'm honest. Uh, then we've got Van Basten, who I actually enjoy on previous FIFAs. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why his finishing is just impeccable, isn't it? Six foot two, medium, medium work rates, three star skills and a four star weak foot, striker and centre forward. And the finishing is just by far one of the best on any icon you will see on the game. It is. It, it, go and have a look, compare it to some. It is incredible, but there are some things that let it down. That being, his pace is going to let him down. Again, this is similar to his um, prime card, actually, last year, the stats. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, very similar to his prime card. Uh, passive stats are pretty rubbish. Dribbling isn't as bad as you think it is. Um, balance lets him down at 73, but he does feel a lot more agile on the ball than other players on the game. 84 uh, agility, 93 action, 91 ball control, 86 dribbling and 90 composure. So he is quite a big lad, 6 foot 2, but honestly, from previous experience on different FIFAs, he feels a lot more agile than you would think. Uh, so give him a try. He's definitely wanted to give him a try. I mean, he's only, what, 276k, which is not a lot of coins. And I doubt he's going to drop in value because we're looking to get like an 87 plus uh, max rated icon card. So obviously he's not going to be in it. So he's going to hold his value for a bit. Give him a go and let me know your thoughts. Uh, but yeah, he's looking like a pretty decent card. He does come with Acrobat as his playstyle plus, Travellers, First Touch, uh, Technical and Finesse Shot. So he's got some nice traits. And then we get on to Bergkamp again. More of a cam, I'd say, than a striker, but yeah, he can play striker. Four star, four star, which is good to see. He's got an abundance of positions, but I would say he's definitely more suited to a cam spot. Obviously, shooting again, really nice. Dribbling, lets down again by the agility and balance, but everything else is pretty superb. And yeah, he's just an all around okay card. Nothing spectacular, nothing rubbish. He does come with a first touch, Fleur, Traveller. Um, incisive pass, finesse shot and chip shot so he's got abundance of play styles yet again and he's a decent option um, let's have a check what he's going for currently he's about 300k so a bit more expensive than others I, I'd probably stay away from him if I'm honest he's just a bit too expensive for me um, and he does. He, he's one of them I think he's going to be great at everything master or not uh, that's what I'm going to say about Bergkamp. Now we get on to some of the lower rated ones. Uh, we'll quickly go through these. I don't want to spend too much time on them, to be honest. But there are some really nice cards here that people will overlook. Shevchenko being one of them. I think he's like 185k. He can, he's got high, high work rate, which isn't great for a striker. But 3-star, 4-star. Can play a right wing uh, as well as centre forward and striker. Obviously, the shooting's insane. Pace is okay. A dribbling again, let down by the agility and balance, um, and the stamina is pretty poor as well. And he does come with a playstyle pulse of power shot, which is actually incredible on this game. Then you've got Crespo, who I've enjoyed in previous FIFAs, but I think this is looking more like his base card, and it's going to get pretty. It, it, if you look at some of the cards that are out there, you can get a 20k card with the same stats as Crespo, which is unfortunate because he was a great player in his day. But he's got high, uh, medium low wear rate, sorry, 4 star, 4 star, striker and centre forward. Again, really nice shooting category apart from the long shots. Dribbling always feels pretty decent in my opinion in previous FIFAs, but again, stamina lets him down, but he has got the play style of the power header. Uh, he comes with finesse shot and a couple of others there as well. Uh, Davo Shuka, I've enjoyed, I really have enjoyed in previous FIFAs. Um, and I'm probably going to check this card out because he's one of them that does go under the radar a lot of the time because of that pace people are put off. But everything else about the card is genuinely fantastic. I made him wear eight, fa uh, four star, four star, striker and centre forward. The pace isn't the greatest, but the shooting category is absolutely phenomenal. And his dribbling category as well is stacked. 
Uh, he also comes with decent passing and decent free kicks, um, which is really nice to have. He does have the playstyle plus of Travellers, which is very, very nice to have. That is an insane playstyle plus there. Um, and also, he's got ball control and um, chip shot, sorry, and technical dribbler so i think that's going to be one of those icons to keep an eye out for because looking at his card 150k that is cheap and i bet you any money let me know if you do try him i think he's going to be insane um another one that's always a bit of a crap card to be honest in fifa is cliver he's got the work rate which is good four star four star but he's a bit of a uh a double deckable shall we say because the agility and balance ball and dribbling are always pretty poo as well as the composure and it's no different this year yeah his finishing is good he's got okay pace and uh, when he first came out and many moons ago he used to have really high pace but now yeah they've they've nerfed him a bit with this card it's not the greatest card in the world and he does come with power header and a couple of other traits there it's probably one to avoid same with alan shearer unfortunately premier league's all-time top goal scorer and this one is a real shame that they never do him justice and i'm sorry to you newcastle fans but this just isn't the card is it high medium three star three star yes his finish is in is impeccable but his pace is average his passing is terrible. His dribbling is awful. His heading's really nice on his physicality. But he, yeah, it's just one to avoid again. Power header is his traits. But if you're a Newcastle fan, go and try. And then we got the Juventus legend, Trezeguet. Again, another one of them cars that you want to avoid, don't you? The pace, the dribbling. The shooting's going to be nice again. He's got four star, four star, but... Again, not the card you want to be picking up. And definitely, if you get this in your icon packs, I feel sorry for you, I really do. But he does have acrobatic. Uh, another one that I always enjoy as well on FIFA is Henrik Larsson. He's normally cheap, and he is going for currently um, 100k, so he is quite cheap in icon terms. High, high work rate, three star skills, and a four star weak foot. But he's always really nice because he has high agility and dribbling. Um, so he always feels really nice on the ball, which is good. 89 uh, acceleration, 85 sprint speed there, really nice to have. And his shooting, his finishing ability is always great. And his heading ability is fantastic as well. So this is another one. I wouldn't sleep on it. I'd go and, go and try him out, to be honest. And I bet you any money he plays a lot better than his card does suggest. He does have chip shop and finesse shot. Chip shop? Chip shop, Josh. Chip shot, I meant. And finesse shot. And I think that's one of the cards you don't want to, uh, don't want to overlook. Again, another one that you probably will overlook is closer, and you're rightly so, because he's never normally good on the game, and he won't be this year either. Um, his pace is decent, really nice acceleration of 90, but the sprint speed there of 82, so he's going to get up to that speed really quickly, but then die off really quickly as well. Shooting category is always amazing with him, passing always poo, and dribbling always poo again. And we want dribbling on strikers. I, I can't be dealing with these robotic strikers like uh, a closer card. But he does come with a playstyle plus, and he does have quite a few to be fair, six in total. He has the aerial plus, obviously, because he was a heading master in his day. And then finally, we've got the lowest rated icon striker on the list. Um, and the lowest in-game stats on the list, but it is Hernandez. And I would say, again, this is one probably not to sleep on. He's always been pretty decent. For the price he's going for 200k at the moment high medium layer eight four star skills and a three star weak foot striker and center forward the pace is obviously electric the finishing's electric and the dribbling's electric and that for me are the three categories that you definitely want to have in this game you definitely want to have decent pace good shooting and being able to turn people inside out inside the box is great mo salah is so fantastic at that guys he really is and He's one of my favourite cars on the game. But he also comes with six um, play styles. One being chip shot, the other being power header. Uh, his play style plus is the first touch. He also has rapid, traveller and aerial ability as well. So he's got an abundance of traits there. And there's some really good cards on this list. We'll go Hernandez, Larson and Shuka are the ones I'd say on the bench there to go and get go and try you know the cheap icons and i bet you they play better than the car suggest in the starter team my top three is um who did i say now i forgot sanchez sorry uh van persie and zola 
three fantastic cards there. Um, if I had to pick one, if I'm honest, I'd probably go for Van Persie because I don't know much of Hugo Sanchez and I do did love Van Persie in his day, so I would probably choose Van Persie. But actually, in game, uh, there's no better than Hugo Sanchez. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my player reviews, and if you're looking for cheap and reliable FIFA coins, then check out our sponsor, u7buy.com, and use code JOSH97 to get yourself a cheeky 6% off at checkouts. All the links you need are in the description below. Thank you for watching today's video. Smash that thumbs up button for me, it's greatly appreciated. And as well, if you're new, please do subscribe. We've got loads of FIFA content planned, loads of player reviews, and loads more to come from the channel. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.